Well, your report passed by the European Parliament here in Strasbourg. Several aspects I'd like to ask you about. First of all, young farmers. What is the issue? Um, how bad is the situation in Europe at the moment? Looking at the uh, uh, percent, uh, seven uh, in the last few years, only seven percent of uh, young under thirty-five years old are now uh, farmers. So uh, this means that uh, num the numbers is going down. Uh, this is what we stressed in the report that we need some measures to. Um, encourage uh, them to, to remain in this sector if they don't help, have help from the European Union and from the states uh, they will choose of course something else now uh, in my country and I am sure in uh, most of the Eastern Europe countries uh, they cannot uh, develop this business agriculture business because uh, of the costs uh, hard work and uh, low prices in the products. These are the main problems. And you mentioned that the farmers in those countries, and I guess in other countries like our country, the UK, you mentioned they, they need help from Europe. What kind of thing would you like um, the European Commission, for example, to consider to, to get more young farmers um, working on farms? Uh, yes, we thought about uh, some uh, uh, Primes, uh, some help in the beginning, so they can uh, build something. They can uh, buy uh, tractors, and uh, um, for instance, the um, banking loans are in my country. Uh, the there are very high, um, so it's difficult to, to take if you don't have some money to put aside. So uh, these helps in the beginning are necessary and of course to regulate the, the market if the products are the, the local farm and the local um, um, markets the prices are higher than in the big market uh, the supermarkets uh, they, they cannot compete with with these prices, so uh, um, we need several measures, helping them in the beginning, regulate the market, and uh, this can be done with the new CAP and uh, with the new politics on, uh, on uh, uh, young farmers. Now another aspect we're interested in is a food price speculation. What does your report say about that? How much of a, a danger does that pose to, to food prices? Um, as we saw already, it's uh, the fruit prices are going high. Um, if something is wrong in with the, for instance, uh, what happened in Russia uh, with. Uh, but in this summer, uh, in influence the prices in Europe and not only in Europe. So we need uh, a mechanism to regulate the prices and to to uh, so the European Union and can uh, uh, put products on the market if we have these stocks and um, s such a mechanism uh, to help. Uh, uh, and to to keep us uh, aside of the the of, of this market uh, of this price is going high. What exactly would this food stock be exactly, and and who would manage it? Would it be a European Union food stock? Would it be a, a global food stock? And and who would sort of be in in charge of it, if you like? We need a global food stock because we not, we cannot talk only about European Union. Um, if, if, for instance, and I hope it will mean not, uh, a global crisis will uh, affect all of us. So, uh, in the if European Union will initiate this um, with the help of UN and uh, FAO, which are already involved and they know what to do with this uh, 
uh, I think we can uh, we can manage and we can uh, develop this uh, uh, and we need it soon because uh, as I said in the in the report our global food stocks uh, um, will uh, cover only one week so unfortunately <laughs> we don't have anything in this situation uh, and we need um, faster measures and uh, the commissar said uh, when I presented the report that uh, it, it, uh, the European Commission will raise it, this in uh, uh, in G20 meeting so maybe we'll see a result and just finally this food stocks idea what impact would that have on farmers and and the price that they actually get for the the food that they produce i hope a positive one because uh, if we need uh, more food the prices will go down so they can uh, um, sell their products um, i hope it will be a positive impact <laughs>